Numbers in Judaism are very important. Gematria. As an example, the number one is Hashem. Two means two people, friendship. The number 400 is a very bad number. Actually, it represents Ayn Hara. The word Ayn Ra numerically is 400. And any time we find 400 in the Torah, it is always associated with the evil eye. So as an example, Esav comes to fight Yaakov with 400 men. Ephron, whose name is numerically 400, he sells Me'arat HaMachpelah to Avraham for 400 shekel. It's very interesting that the Forbes 400, the list of people that are very wealthy, is also 400, people that have a lot of Ayn Hara on them. But Rabbeinu Bachir explains, why is it that 400 is such a dangerous number? And he says, because 400 is the gematria of the letter Taf. And he says that the same way Taf is the end of the Aleph Bet, so too Ayn Hara 400 is the end of all bracha. It ends bracha, but my friends, not only for the ones that we give it to, but even and more importantly, for ourselves. So many times we go through life looking around at other people and we compare, especially in today's day and age with social media where people are inviting us to access, to see their lives, their parties, their vacations. And we compare what they're doing to what we're doing. We compare our children to their children. We compare our homes to their homes. We go through life thinking that the grass is greener. And instead of stopping and appreciating how lucky we are, how blessed we are, we're focusing on the things that the other person has that I don't. This robs me of my bracha. This is tough. This is 400. This takes me away from my life. I have a beautiful job. I have a beautiful family. I have health. I have amazing things. But it takes me away because I'm focusing on what I don't have. And so the message of tough, the message of 400, is that we need to get rid of this comparing. We have to stop being sameach bechelko. You know, today they tell us to count many things. They say count your steps. They say count your calories. But the Torah also reminds us, make sure to count your blessings.